All right, so this one's more of a fun one for all the parents of fur babies and, well, just regular babies. But I was looking online at how much like pet cams and nanny cams cost, and some of them can be quite expensive. So in this edition of the lab, we're gonna do a little DIY and set up our own nanny cams slash pet cam. All right, so what are you gonna need to get this done? Well, basically you're just gonna need a PC and a camera. So for the camera side, the trusty Logitech C922 works. Now, if the observation area is kind of far away from where the PC is, you can use a USB extension. Or if you have like another cell phone laying around like a spare one or a used one, you can actually use XSplit Connect with XSplit VCam and you can connect the camera wirelessly. Pretty much as long as the cell phone and the computer are on the same network, you can connect them together. You can also get a bit more fancy and get like a GoPro or any kind of wide angle camera and connected via capture card. And in terms of the computer, you don't need a super high end computer. Basically you need a computer with at least like an NVIDIA nine or 10 series GPU and at least dual core, preferably quad core processor. We're not gonna be streaming in super high resolution or super fast frame rates. Okay, now we're gonna set this all up. So pretty much you're gonna use good old XSplit Broadcaster and you're gonna add your webcam source or add VCam if you're doing the cell phone solution or add the capture card. And then I recommend whatever your camera source is, actually setting that as your microphone input source on XSplit Broadcaster because that way you can pick up the sounds of what is going on. And then pretty much just set your resolution to 640 by 360 and 25 FPS. You don't need super high def resolution and especially if you're using like a spare or just like a random computer that's maybe not too powerful. If you have a pretty beefy one, you know, set the resolution higher. And then pretty much pick your streaming platform of choice. You just need to log in. You might need like a stream key, an RTMP URL. I actually put a link in the description for some encoding settings that you can use. But you maybe want to think about your platform a bit because if this is something private, like you're setting up a nanny camera for your kid with the babysitter or something, then, you know, use something like YouTube where you can set the stream as unlisted or private so only you can view it or whoever has the link. And, you know, if you're doing like a pet cam or something, maybe you're going to monetize it or something later. So you can use Twitch, whatever supports, you know, just random streams. And if you want to record this as well, if you're on a lower end PC, what you want to do is you want to enable the carbon copy of the stream. This is basically going to create a duplicate of whatever goes out as a stream output. So the internet drops, it'll catch that as well. But this basically has no extra overhead on your computer. Now, if you have something a bit more beefier, like with a nine or 10 series GPU, you can actually record and stream at the same time. So this gives you a better quality recording just in case if you need to review footage or something afterwards. So if you have a bit of a budget, you can actually do some fancy stuff with the stream. Like I said, you know, if you're going to do like a public stream of your pets, you can monetize it so you can add donation alerts. Maybe you want to use tech sources to add the names of the pets and stuff like that. And, you know, donations, all it is is just web based alerts. So you can use something like Streamlabs, get the URL of the widget, paste it into XSplit and position it however you like. Maybe you have the budget to have multiple cameras so you can set up different cameras. You can actually set up a macro to automatically rotate between the different cameras. And if you have these multiple cameras, you can actually set up another scene to basically have all these cameras as sources and record them. So that way you have like this big master recording with all the different camera angles, you know, just in case of emergencies or you need to review something afterwards, you know, who knows what happens with your pets when you're away. But I want to know from you, like, have you ever thought of setting up like a critter camera or have you ever watched any wildlife streams and have you ever like used nanny cams or pet cams? Have they been good or bad? Let me know in the comments, give a like if this video was helpful or interesting and subscribe for more ways that we experiment with streaming and content creation here in the lab.